So let's talk about more separation processes. We're going to talk about mainly the columns and specifically the distillation column. Now we've got plenty of columns. You just gotta go to the column tab right here in the palette and you will find out all these columns right here. Currently, we are going to pay attention the most on these four columns. These are the basic ones. All other are more complex columns to model. So we're going to work with these one, two, three, and four. Number one and most important one is the distillation column, which is right here. It has a condenser and a boiler. The reflux absorber will have condenser. The reboiler absorber will have a boiler and the absorber per se will have no reboiler or no condenser, okay? It must have some streams inlet in order to have out in, okay? Now, we must understand that depending on the type of unit operation we're using, we will have different degrees of freedom. For instance, the most complex one requires most degrees of freedom. The simplest one, such as absorber, requires almost no statements. So this is essential when we need to add the data or input. Now, let's talk about the distillation column, which will be the most common one that you will be taught. You can either go directly and check out the parent environment, which is the simply the distillation column with no definition per se. But if you want to see the column environment, it will state much more def detailed the, the distillation column. For instance, number of, ta uh, of stages, no, the condenser flow rates, you, are, you see more detailed the reflux right here for each one of them, the reboiler, heat flow, etc. So as you can see, you have lots of uh, unit operations per se. You have the column, condenser, reboiler. You also have plenty of streams. You've got material streams, which are the inlet, the condenser, the distillate, the reflux, the boil up, the reboiler, and the bottoms. And energy flow rates, which are the heat duty of the condenser, heat duty of the reboiler. Now, I really like HISIS how it uses five easy steps to set up a distillation column. For instance, you need to state the distillation column first in this stage right here, which is the input of data. Let me show you all the steps. The first step is to add connections. Second step is to configure or add the details on the boiler. Third step is pressure profile. Fourth step is optional estimates, which will aid in the convergence. And fifth uh, step will be the specifications of the destillate. Now, this is the screenshot for the first step. As you can see, you need to state an inlet. You need to state the stage of the inlet. You need to state the number of stages heat duty for reboiler and condenser, the type of condenser, either total, partial, or full reflux, the distillate flow rate, bottom flow rate, and this is everything for step one. Step two is defining the type of reboiler. Typically we use a regular reboiler with this configuration, the once true, it's easy. It reboils and liquid goes down, vapor goes up. Step number three is the pressure profile. You will state the pressure of the condenser, typically lower than the pressure of the reboiler, which is higher. And also you will know that the pressure here in the midpoint should be something between these two points, okay? Eventually, we need to state the temperature estimates. You don't need to, but it's worth it, especially if you have a convergence, which is not easy to get to. So if you add temperature estimate, it will be much easier. And finally, we got step number five right here. Oops, it's not present, but it will be very similar. You will have the column and you need to state the distillate ratios and flow rate reflux. So you need to state the reflux, typically either molar or mass and the total flow rate for the distillate destillate right here so once you st uh, you add all steps and everything goes fine it's now defined and you can run it and converge now we're going to do this in this exercise right here so pay attention add all the input data and hopefully you get to a converged result